Welcome to this prayer of strength and revival. I'm so glad you've joined me today, and I want to encourage you to subscribe and meditate on this prayer daily. There's a mighty move of God awaiting you, and today we will unlock His divine strength and power in your life. But before we proceed, I want to invite you to surrender your life to Christ. This is the most important step, laying down your burdens, your past, and everything that hinders you at the feet of Jesus. If you haven't already, let's take a moment together and offer up our hearts. Say this with me. Lord Jesus, I come before you today acknowledging that I need you in my life. I surrender my will, my heart, and my life into your hands. Forgive me of my sins, cleanse me with your precious blood, and make me new. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Now that we've surrendered our lives to Christ, let's dive into the Word of God and prepare our hearts for a powerful prayer session. Today's verse comes from Isaiah 40:31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This verse is a profound declaration of God's promise to those who place their hope and trust in Him. The key word here is hope, which in Hebrew is kava meaning to wait or look for with eager expectation. It's not a passive waiting, but an active, faith-filled anticipation of what God is about to do. The significance of this word lies in the assurance that our hope in God is never in vain. It always leads to renewed strength. This verse also speaks of soaring on wings like eagles. Eagles are known for their strength and ability to rise above storms, using the wind to lift them higher. When we place our hope in God, He doesn't just give us strength to survive. He empowers us to rise above the challenges, to soar higher than ever before. Lastly, the promise of running and not growing weary, walking and not fainting, highlights God's provision for endurance. In life's race, He not only equips us to start strong, but also to finish well. This is the power of hoping in the Lord. It's a dynamic strength that transforms our weaknesses into opportunities for God's power to be displayed. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come before you today, standing on the promise of Isaiah 40:31. I lift up my listener to you right now, believing that as they place their hope in you, their strength is being renewed. Father, I declare that your strength is filling every area of their life. Where there has been weariness, I speak supernatural energy. Where there has been fainting, I declare divine stamina. Lord, I break every chain of discouragement, every lie of the enemy that tells them they are weak and defeated. I cast out every spirit of heaviness and declare that joy, peace, and strength are their portion in Jesus' name. Father, as they hope in you, I ask that you lift them up on wings like eagles. Help them to rise above every storm, every challenge, and every obstacle that stands in their way. Let them soar in your presence higher and higher seeing things from your perspective. I pray for endurance, Lord, that they will run this race of life and not grow weary. I declare that they will walk and not faint, for you are their strength and their song. Your word says that the joy of the Lord is our strength, so I release that joy into their heart right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I ask that you breathe new life into their spirit. Revive every dry bone, refresh every tired soul. Let your rivers of living water flow through them, bringing healing, restoration, and power. Father, I stand against every force of darkness that seeks to drain their strength. I break the power of every negative word spoken over them, every curse, every hex, every spell. It is broken now in the name of Jesus. I declare that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. They are covered by the blood of Jesus, protected by your mighty hand. Lord, I thank you for the victory that is already theirs. I thank you for the breakthroughs that are on the way, the miracles that are unfolding and the testimonies that are being birthed. I speak life, health and strength into their body, soul and spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. As they continue to meditate on this prayer, I ask that you remind them of your word. Let it be a source of strength, a wellspring of life that never runs dry. Help them to fix their eyes on you, the author and finisher of their faith. And now, Lord, as we come to the close of this prayer, I seal every word spoken with the blood of Jesus. I believe and declare that it is done, it is finished, and it is established in the heavenly realms. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. 
Thank you for renewing our strength. Thank you for the victory that is ours in Christ Jesus. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name we pray. Amen. As you meditate on this prayer daily, I encourage you to subscribe and stay connected with us. Let this prayer be a daily declaration of God's strength in your life. Remember, your hope in the Lord is the key to unlocking His power. Keep soaring, keep running, and keep walking in the strength that only He can provide. God bless you.